we're down in New Jersey. I'm here with uh, one of the most famous martial artists in the world, uh, Cynthia Rothrock. So we're attending the Action Martial Arts Hall of Honors uh, that uh, Grandmaster Goldberg puts on. And I want to thank you so much for being on the show. I've seen her many, many times in the uh, in the movies. Never thought we'd ever actually have a chance to get her on the TV show and, and meet and stuff like that. And you know, the first question I want to ask you is: Any projects going right now? Because we talked about it last night. Yeah, I actually do. I'm working on a film called Downward Facing Dog with Richard Norton and Adrian Carr is directing it. And we're shooting a few scenes and doing the poster and it's still in the process of getting the rest of the film. Where's it going to be filmed? In America? Uh, the one you, were, you were doing a lot in Hong Kong, am I right? Yes. Originally. Yes, but originally doing... I did my first seven movies in Hong Kong. Seven? Yeah. How many do you have? Uh... Uh, somewhere <laughs> you lost count? 40. <laughs> like asking someone's age. <laughs> so this one's in America. Yeah. No, actually they want to shoot this one in Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Do you only think about the front the plot or anything? Or is it still being worked Yeah, so we're still, yes, so we're still. Okay, now, when did you start getting into the movies now? Or how, I'm sorry, how did you start? Well, I was talking with Christine earlier, uh -huh. and she, from her tournament experience, got, uh, worked with Pot, uh, Pat uh, Johnson. Yeah. How did you get involved? Um, I got involved as, I was with the West Coast Demonstration Team, and the editor of Inside Kung Fu, uh, Paul Maslin. Uh, a Jersey boy, a real good guy. Joe Piscopo, please come on up. Give him a big round of applause. Joe Piscopo. How's everybody doing tonight? Come on down. We got to make some noise. You're in Jersey now, baby. How many Jersey folks we got out there? Special treat for you later. I gotta do a little something for you. You know, I know everybody comes from around the country for this great event. I'm honored and a privilege to be a part of this. I do not belong here. I've had the grace and good fortune of being in some martial arts films with the uh, legendary Chuck Norris and uh, some and, and working in some Miller Light commercials. Some of the gentlemen that I work with here actually were in the spot that spot Miller Light spot, making me look good all those years ago. But I have immense respect for each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen, for what you do, for what you do with the core of martial arts. It's not just about kicking in somebody's butt. It's all about the core, the character, the texture of human beings. And you display that better than anybody. So I am here with the utmost of respect. And as I go around the country, I've seen him in Spawn, one of the best action movies. I enjoy that movie thoroughly as we all did. Uh, Michael J. White, please come on up, Michael. Good to have you here. Big round of applause, everybody. Thank you, thank you. I'll be brief because I, I know there's a lot of people behind me. I just wanted to come down in here and start my year off uh, with, with my friends and my extended, my extended martial arts family. Oops. Thank you so much. For me, it still does a lot of work in the industry, but never saw perfect weapon. He's a phenomenal tempo practitioner. Um, he really is somebody that Ed Barker was proud of and still is up there proud of because he keeps his legacy alive as I do with my father's as best as I can. Just a phenomenal human being and a great guy. It's great to see him here. It's been a while since I've seen him. Mr. Jeff Speakman. Good to have you, Jeff. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here and meet so many new members of my martial arts family. I want to say two things for you to take home with you tonight. One is, remember there's a big difference between a martial fighter and a martial artist. As you remember and you make your, win your accolades, take those winnings home and turn them into something positive that you pass on to kids and other people in your community. That's what makes you a martial artist. The product Protagon by Bruce Lee was featured in that and several other films. In 1984, Jihan J moved to the United States. Our blessing. The, ma ma the mind martial art he continued to teach today, continues to teach today, and is the chairman of the World Sin Mu Hapkido Federation. It is my pleasure, my honor, to bestow upon him this award, the 
Apex Award for bringing that art here to the United States. Please give a big round of applause to Grandmaster Jihan J. Grandmaster Kevin P. McKenzie. 